amplitude modulation. So before going to what is modulation index, we'll see uh, what is amplitude modulation. So first of all, let us see uh, what is amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation by definition, the amplitude of your carrier wave is varied in accordance with the message signal, what we call it as a modulating signal. So here we consider a low frequency signal that is the information signal and a high frequency carrier. So this carrier is varied in accordance with your message signal M of T. So when it is varied, you will be getting a modulated output uh, which is shown in the figure three. So uh, what is that we are going to do uh, after the modulation? So what are the conditions which are required to get a uh, modulated wave? So uh, I want to transmit uh, the message signal M of T, which is a low frequency signal. And uh, I want to modulate my carrier C of T, which is a high frequency signal in accordance with your message signal M of T. So when I modulate, I'll be getting uh, the modulated wave S of T is equals to AC plus AM cos of 2 pi FMT into cos of 2 pi FCT. So this is the equation of your modulated wave. So how much amount of modulation is done? So that is what we need to know. So that is known by the factor called as modulation index. So if the modulation is less than one, then we can say that it is under modulation. So as we have shown in the figure three, this figure, so this represents the modulation index is less than one. So if the modulation index is, is equals to one, what we call it as exact modulation. If the modulation index is greater than one, we call it as uh, over modulation. So if you have a uh, under modulation that is less than one or equals to one, then the information can be retrieved back at the receiver. If you have the modulation index greater than one, the information cannot be retrieved. Why? Because there is a, a distortion or interference which occurs when the modulation index is greater than one. So how to calculate this one? So how to calculate uh, the modulation index? Now look at the equation S of T is equals to AC plus AM cos of 2 pi FMT into cos 2 pi FCT. So this is the modulated wave equation. Now let us calculate the modulation index using the amplitude modulated uh, equation S of T. So for that, uh, now we'll see the first method of how to calculate the modulation index. So a carrier wave after being modulated, if the modulation level is calculated, then such an attempt is called as modulation index. So how much amount of modulation is done, whether it is less than 100% or equals to 100% or greater than 100% what we measure, that is called as modulation index. So based on this modulation index only, we are going to say whether it is under modulated or over modulated or exact modulated. So, or else in other words, what we call it as modulation depth. It states uh, the level of modulation that carrier wave undergoes. So we'll see the method one first method. So in method one, so if you go back to your uh, previous equation, that is S of T, S of T is equals to AC plus AM cos 2 pi FMT into cos 2 pi FCT. So this equation, if you are going to rearrange the terms, rearrange the terms, rearrange the terms, that is S of T is equals to, S of T is equals to by taking your AC as common. So if you take AC as common, it will become AC into 1 plus AM by AC cos 2 pi FMT into cos 2 pi FCT. So where the term AM by AC, this AM by AC is called as your modulation index, uh, which is replaced with your mu. So what is the formula for your modulation index? So mu is equals to AM by AC. 
So this is one method of calculating the modulation index. So the uh, ratio of amplitude of message signal to the ratio of amplitude of your carrier, if it is less than one, if it is less than one, then we say it is under modulated. And if it is equals to one, we say it is exactly modulated. And if it is greater than one, then we'll say it is over modulated. So modulation index is equal to the ratio of your AM by AC. This is one method of calculating your modulation index. So what is the other method of calculating your modulation index? Let us see now. So before going to that, already as we have said here, like modulation index is the ratio of your AM by AC. So if you want to calculate your modulation index, uh, then uh, I need to know the amplitude of your message signal and the amplitude of your carrier. If you know these two terms, then we can say that uh, uh, how much amount of modulation is done. Now, what is the second method? If you look into the second method, so in this second method, what we are going to uh, do here is we are going to consider the modulated wave. So this is your modulated wave. You can see this is a modulated wave, which is uh, we are taking uh, as under modulated wave. So in this wave, we are going to mark the carrier frequency, sorry, amplitude of your carrier and the minimum amplitude of your message signal and maximum amplitude of your message signal that is a max what is the maximum amplitude of sorry uh, maximum amplitude of your modulated signal and the minimum amplitude of uh, modulating signal using uh, both your uh, amplitude of your carrier and amplitude of your message signal so here uh, this is ac okay so when we have a modulated wave so in that we are going to uh, take the a minimum and a maximum that is amplitude maximum amplitude and minimum amplitude of your uh, modulated wave so let us see so here what we do uh, is uh, let us consider let us consider a max and a min are the maximum and minimum amplitudes of your modulated wave so what is that a max so that means from here to here this is your a max and a minimum this is your a minimum so this is your ac okay so when i calculated my a max what is a max here a max is nothing but uh, am plus ac and a min so let us uh, go uh, into the theory so so we will be getting uh, the maximum amplitude of the modulated wave when sine of 2 pi fmt is equals to 1 that is the message signal uh, uh, when it attains the maximum value so sinusoidal value or uh, sinusoidal signal value ranges from your 0 to 1 0 to 1 so when it attains the maximum value then a max is nothing but your ac plus am ac plus am so that is what uh, we are representing the a max as your ac plus am so if you have your a max value as the amplitude of your carrier and amplitude of your message signal then the message signal is attaining a value of 1 and we'll get the minimum amplitude of the modulated wave when this value is minus 1 when the value is minus 1 that is a min is equals to ac minus am so from these two values from these two values we are going to take the ratio so before uh, taking the ratio of am by ac so let us calculate uh, uh, what is a max plus a min so from the equation 4 and 5 whatever the equation we have seen uh, that is equation 4 a max is equals to ac plus am and a min is equals to ac minus uh, am from these two we are going to get uh, uh, the value of your uh, uh, a max plus a min 
So if I take a, a max plus a min, that is a max is nothing but a c plus a m and a min is nothing but a c minus a m. So which is nothing but your 2 a c. So from this 2 a c, I want uh, to calculate the amplitude of your carrier. If I want to calculate my amplitude of your carrier, then a c is equals to it is a max plus a min by 2. And now uh, subtracting the equations phi and uh, from your equation 4, that is a max minus a min. If I subtract uh, uh, that a max is nothing but a c plus a m minus a c minus a m, which is nothing but your 2 a m. So if I want the, the value of your a m, then it is a m is equals to a max minus a min by 2. So we know that the formula for your modulation index, the formula for your modulation index, uh, already we have written that is mu is equals to a m by your a c. So based on this formula, so now I am taking uh, the modulation index mu is equals to a m by a c, which is what the values we have calculated, uh, what the values we have calculated earlier for a m, a m and a c. So that we are going to substitute here. So the a c values a max minus a, a max plus a min by 2 and a m values a max minus a min by 2. These two values we are going to substitute in uh, the modulation index formula. So when I calculate the modulation index using your a max plus a min, so a m by a c is equals to a max minus a min by a max plus a min. So this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Finally, the modulation index is given as your a max minus a min by a max plus a min. This is the second formula of what we have to calculate your modulation index. So the equation number three, what is the equation number three? So equation number three is mu is equals to a m a m by a c. This is equation number three a c a m by a c. So this is one way of calculating your modulation index and second formula is mu is equals to a max minus a min by a max plus a min. So these two equations are the formulas which are used to calculate your modulation index. So the modulation index or modulation duct is often denoted in percentage called as your percentage of your modulation. Percentage of your modulation. So we'll get the percentage of the modulation just by multiplying the modulation index value with 100. So suppose if you have your modulation index is equals to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then multiply it with 100, then it is the modulation level is 50%. So percentage of modulation which has occurred is 50%. So this is how we are going to calculate uh, the modulation index of an amplitude modulated wave. So in the next lecture, uh, we are going to see how to calculate the power consumed by your amplitude modulation uh, technique. So what is the power consumed uh, by the two sidebands and the power calculator power consumed by your uh, carrier. So with that, uh, we'll see how much amount of power is utilized by each sideband and how much amount of power is used by a uh, carrier wave. We'll uh, discuss along with some examples. Thank you.